So I keep seeing this issue popping up online on platforms like Stack Overflow, within our AppRite Discord server, and I wanna address what this problem is and talk about the steps you can actually take to resolve the issue. So the problem people are facing is a course policy error. So essentially when they're trying to make a request to an AppRite backend, that request gets blocked by a course policy and they can't continue with that request. So the error you're gonna get in the console seems kind of confusing if you don't know what a course policy is. And even if you do understand it, how do you fix this within the context of AppRite? So let's first talk about what a course error is for those of you that don't understand it. And then we'll go ahead and jump into resolving this issue. So without diving too deep into this topic, CORS stands for cross-origin resource sharing and is a mechanism which allows our server to specify which origins can access it. And by origin, I just mean a URL. So let's go ahead and visualize this now. So we have our server and the origin of this server is myapi.com. So by default, if we try to make a request from a different origin, like myfrontend.com, this is where we're gonna see that CORS policy error. So the solution here would be to go and fix this on the back end. So what we need to do, is go ahead and add in myfrontend.com to the list of allowed origins. And now when we make the request, this origin is allowed and that request can officially go through. So this makes cores extremely important because it provides us a secure way to make requests to different origins. And without it, any website in the world would be able to access our server. And as you can imagine, there could be a lot of issues with that. Okay, so now that we talked about cores, let's talk about what all of this means in the context of AppRite. So at the moment, I have this pinned down to three reasons why this issue occurs. And this is based off of multiple conversations, reading a lot of chat threads, and just debugging with a lot of people in this process. The issue is always one of these three, but if you happen to find something else, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the video and I'll make sure to check that out. And if anything needs to get added, I'll update that in the comment section and I'll also just update the article that goes with it, which is linked up in the video description. So the first issue that I see people have is that they don't have an origin set at all. So in AppRite, this is done through the host name and this step is oftentimes skipped because people forget to add a platform. So if this is you, you can actually check this by going to the overview tab and scroll down to platforms and see if you have a platform here. So if you already do have a platform, you can just go ahead and check that by clicking on it and check the host name here. This should be wherever you're making a request from. So if you're developing locally, something like localhost is what you would add here and you don't need to add in a port number or protocol. The second issue that I often see is an incorrectly set host name. So this is either a typo or when someone's working locally and deploys their site live, that's when they start getting this cores error and that's simply a misconfiguration issue. So once you deploy your site, you now have a new host name and you need to make sure that that's set in your AppRite console. So if that's your issue and you're dealing with this local host and live URL issue, what you could do is you actually have a few options. So the first one is you can simply update the host name every single time depending on where you're working so if you're working locally you could add in localhost then when you're live you add in that live domain well this is an issue for multiple reasons you're having to switch back and forth it's inconsistent your live site goes down you don't want to go with this option but that's ideally or in theory how you could do it simply just update the host name the second option is to add in a wildcard. So instead of adding in a host name, you simply, or an origin, you simply just add in star, a wildcard. And this means that there is no set origin. Anybody can make requests to this backend. This is not secure, but it is an option. Now, the third and recommended way to do this would be to simply just add in another origin. And the way you would do this with AppRite is by simply adding in another platform within the console. So you have one platform that's pointed to localhost, go ahead and add in another platform, set that origin to that live domain. And then as you add in more, just go ahead and add in another platform and set that origin. And that will resolve your issue while still keeping security. The third issue that I've seen is an improperly configured SDK. So specifically, I've seen people use the wrong project ID when they're setting up the client instance. Sometimes people can have a typo in there or they're using the wrong ID. If this is not set up right and we try to make a request to an app right backend, we're going to get a cores error in this situation. Without going into too much detail about how cores works, the problem here occurs when the browser tries to check if the origin is allowed. So because of the project ID, the request will fail, returning back a 400 response, and the entire cores check just fails. 
Okay, so that's it for this video. If your issue is not resolved by trying these options, make sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section. That way we can keep an open thread going. I wanna make sure to resolve these and see what all the possible issues and solutions are out there. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.